Hi all, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach and today we are continuing on with the AP Calculus 2004 free response questions and here's number two. Um, let me clear my calculator. Let functions f and g, uh, let f and g be functions given by this and this. The graphs I was showing the figure about. Find the area of the shaded region enclosed by the graphs of f and g. Okay, this is a standard integral. I'm going to integrate, it looks like from x from 0 to 1. And when I do my representative rectangle, I always, the height of this rectangle is the top y value minus the bottom y value, the difference in the y values. So I do f of x minus g of x dx. So that would be the area. Um, we're going to do the integral. f of x is 2x, 1 minus x, minus g of x, which is 3x minus 1 uh, squared x. Okay, we're going to integrate over x, so we're going to integrate from 0 to 1. Again, you could integrate these by hand. Okay, I think on the older test, they it seems like it feels like more that they they you know let you get away with uh, doing that, <laughs> that you could do it by hand if you didn't have a calculator. Um, that's how I remember the exam when I took it. I guess I'm dating me a little bit. Um, find the volume of the solid generated when the shaded region closed by the graphs f and g is revolved around the horizontal line y equals two. So y equals two is up here somewhere up there. And when I revolve this rectangle, right, um, my representative rectangle, uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to sweep out a disk. So um, in general, I go 0 to 1. Now the, the volume of that disk, if I think about it, it's going to sweep out a disk like this. The distance from here to the outer radius is going to be the distance from here all the way to the line y equals 2. So that distance is going to be 2. The, again, when you do the distance, the height distance, you're basically saying it's the top value 2 minus the bottom value. So this distance here is going to be 2 minus uh, g of x. Okay, And then the, the distance, the inside radius is going to be the distance to um, f, and that's going to be uh, 2 minus f of x. And now the area of this disk, because I just take the area of the bigger circle minus the area of the little circle. So that's pi. The area of the big circle is pi r squared. That's 2 minus g of x squared minus pi times the area of the little circle, which is 2 minus f of x squared. And all of that needs to be integrated over dx. And I can factor out a pi. So let's do this. Um, pi. Um, integral of 2 minus g, which is 3 times x minus 1 square root of x squared minus um, 2 minus f of x, which is 2x 1 minus x that's squared. And we are going to integrate over x from 0 to 1. And I multiplied by the pi already. And we get 16.179. Okay, C. Let h be the function given by h of x equals kx1 minus x for For each k greater than 0, the region not shown in enclosed by the graphs of h and g is the base of a solid with square, cross-sectional, perpendicular to the x-axis. There is a value of k which the volume of the solid is equal to 15. Write but do not solve an equation involving an integral expression that can be used to find the value of k. Oh, okay. So, um, enclosed between h and g. So g is on the negative side, is this function. 
H is uh, kind of like f of x, but uh, it varies. So it's on the top because um, k is greater than 0. So we're going to change this shape. So um, let's instead of writing this f of x, let's pretend that this is my um, this is my um, h of x. Okay. So now what happens is each of these rectangles that I make, when it, it turns into a square, right? Right? Because they're basically saying with a square cross sections. So each of these will turn into a square. So if I kind of lay out my little rectangle here, right? it's going to make another little like sort of I didn't do a great job doing that this is maybe that's better okay and I want the kind of the volume of this this shape here this little like rectangular 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 solid here okay the thickness is dx the height is um, h of x minus uh, g of x. And because they're squares, this is also equal to h of x minus g of x. So the volume of this little, um, I don't know, square prism is going to be h of x minus g of x squared, right? That The area of the square times the thickness, which is dx. And then I'm going to sum all of these from 0 to 1 still? Yeah, still 1. Um, and so then this is becomes the integral 0 to 1. h of x uh, is k x 1 minus x minus g of x, which is 3, uh, x minus 1 square root of x uh, squared dx. And we want to know what k value will give me this volume of 15. So that would be my integral setup. Okay. So let's... Um, Take a look at how we compare to the solutions. Uh, 1.133, is that what I got? 1.133, 1 uh, that's correct. 16.179, oops, sorry, wrong one, 16.179. And then the integral, 0 to 1, kx, 1 minus x, minus 3, quantity two, 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 squared, dx equals 15. Okay, perfect. So I hope you found that helpful. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching the video guys. Please leave a comment, like, or subscribe below to catch up more of the content and see any links below. I offer free homework help on uh, Twitch and Discord. See you guys in the next video.